Today I want to talk to the fashionista. This is the first video of a series which will address unique skins in the game. This one is about hats, but I also plan to do one on weapons and armor sets. I don't plan on taking event skins, store skins, NPC skins into consideration, but if you really care about them, please tell me in the comments. Unique hats in Ion are for a big part of them in treasure boxes. I already covered one of them in an in-depth guide, but for this video I'll just do a reminder. Treasure boxes come in three size, small, medium and big. Rare items like hats only come from the big one. Treasure boxes of one area will drop a specific hat. One area will have several possible spawns for them. And depending on the area you're targeting, you can have one or two treasure boxes up at a time. Once you destroy one, it'll take some time until a new one spawn in one of the possible spawns. The spawn timer depends on the area too. But for example, in the Indratus area of Hyron, the timer is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Small treasure boxes represent 70% of the spawns, 29% for medium boxes, and only 1% for the big one. The big box has 50% chance to drop the item you're looking for. Keep in mind that you have to be less than 10 level above the box to get loot. As I haven't personally farmed all of these skins, all I'll be giving is the area, but it'll be up to you to get the timer if you really want the skin that's inside. Part 1. True Unique Skins The following skins can only be obtained in one way, and if it's faction locked, you'll never get it. Kraka's Mask drops from the biggest boss of Verderon Kraka. Sirocco Mask drops from treasure boxes in Iceclaw Village in Morheim. Balom's hat is the reward for a LVL30 quest called A Dish for Dukar. Protector's Mark drops from the Fire Room Guardian in the Sky Temple interior, an Asmodian exclusive instance you can enter in the Sky Temple of Arcanis. Crown of Flame Feather drops for the treasure box you can find inside Fire Temple. In Chromades Trial, you can get a unique skin of each kind, cloth, leather, mail, and plate. Sendukal's Mask is an uncommon drop from the world boss Sendukal in Eltnan's Kaidan headquarter. Sam's Laurel drops from a named mob in Hyron called Aged Ginseng. This was the first video of this channel. Narita's Cap is a reward for the level 43 campaign quest called A Peace Offering. Water Spirit Mask drops from treasure boxes in Alukina's palace in Beluslan. Shoryuken's monocle and Hadouken's hood both drop from the special delivery in Lower Steel Rake, an enemy that spawn in the special prison cell in the middle. A Zotaran researcher's eye patch drops from RM56C in Azotaran Fortress, whose entrance is in Hyron. Deva Hansen's hat is dropped by Chief Mate Deva Hansen in the northwest corner of Brustonin. Part 2 Unique skins for each faction or with two methods of obtaining them, Shania's headdress, is a reward from the level 15 quest, a friendly wager in Altgard, while Lost Mosbear's hat drops from treasure boxes on northern Latheron coast in Theobomos. Manumumu's glasses drop from Chieftain Manumumu in Altgard, while Iron's glasses drop from Lab Chief Eren in an underground lab in the Leferist area of Heron. Kumbaron's mask drops from Chieftain Kumbaron, the biggest boss of Altgard. Its counterpart drops from Gossamos, an invisible mob near Medeus Manor in Heron. Fascination Butterfly Mask can drop from Inflamed Temptress in the Keola Temple of Eltnan. 
It can also be obtained by finishing the quest level 44, The Difficulties of Beauty and Sanctum. Captain Hinden's hat is the reward for the Asmo quest, Light Up the Lighthouse level 40 in Belusland. To get it on Elio's side, you will have to kill Lambos, an elite mob in the boat stranded on the Stenon Bay in Hyron. Raffle's hat is the signature drop of stench in the Clawton's Wallow in Hyron. Malador hairpin can only be obtained from treasure boxes in the Brony region of Brustonin. Hapanunu's water glasses drop from Chieftain Hapanunu, an elite mob in southwest Morheim, while you'll be obliged to farm treasure boxes in the Dermoy Shrine in Theobomos to get it on Eli's side. Groget's hat drops from Steel Rake final boss, but you can buy the Steel Rake captain's hat for 80 groggy. Bloody Sky Mask drops from treasure boxes in the elite Balar area of Beluslan, while Kraltu Magna's mask drops from treasure boxes in the Newt Warren in Heron. Gentlewoman's tiara drops from treasure boxes in Theobomos laboratory, while Princess's crown drops from Princess Karemiwen in Adma stronghold. Part 3. Skins you have three ways of getting. Munin's hat is a reward for the level 7 quest The Imprisoned Gourmet. Sentinel's hat is a reward for the level 8 quest Scouting Timolia Mine. Elios get a second chance of having it by completing the campaign route of the Rot in Heron. Krukul's horn ornament drops from Chief Krukul in Eltnen. Same skin can be obtained by slaying Vingavu, a boss next to Zapiel in Hyron. If you don't want to leave Asmoland, the only way to get this skin is to farm the treasure box downstream, the Purpet Falls in Brustonin. Zifbam's cooking hat is a drop from head cook Zifbam, a leperist in the Leperist Citadel in Morheim. Pamsey's cooking hat drops from the boss head chef Pamsey in the Ether Lab instance. Asmo can also get this skin by completing before the stew gets cold in Belluslan. Part 4 Repeatable Quests All Steel Rake hats are unique skin. If you're not too keen on doing 20 repeatable quests twice to get a hat with trolley godly stats, you can still buy the skin for some groggies next to SR entrance. You won't have this luck with Anuhart hats. You will need to finish your Drana and Draggle repeatable quests 20 times before getting the final one where you need to kill trees. Once done, you will be able to choose one of these hats. Part 5. Craft. The most expensive skins give a unique skin, even if they don't proc. 